Music, it's all around us. It surrounds us in our daily lives. In many ways, music is a natural part of our daily lives. We usually refer to music as being the universal language. After all, every civilization on this planet has implemented music into some part of their society. The reason for music being so universal is because of what it does biologically for humans. Scientifically, music strengthens the connections among neurons. It increases the blood flow and helps mo motivate many of our senses. When it comes to a classroom, it has been suggested that using music to move students from one activity to another helps the learning process be more fluent. Music used on a regular basis also helps improve gross motor skills along with coordination skills, which are especially critical for young children. However, the benefits of music can also help improve other academic skills such as reading and writing. Dr. Michael Sasso is the director of OSU Mansfield's Writing Center and believes music can be an effective tool for pedagogy due to its structure. On the cognitive side, I think that music itself uh, has, like any other discipline, a grammar. It has a grammar and a language and a way of communicating that's really easy to parallel over to writing, which has just another kind of grammar. And it's a structure in itself that uh, creates a way of knowing, a way of understanding. Writing has close ties with music. If we look at one particular style and form of writing, we can see how teaching effective writing skills intersects with music. That style is poetry. Well, it directly applies to poetry, because poetry itself is word music. And uh, to have an understanding of the music of the words and the rhythm and the feet and the, the flow of the words, music, lyrics and music in, in itself are their poetry, their poetry without instruments. I mean, poetry is music without instruments, it's music with, in, with words. The most famous English writer, Shakespeare, constructed his writing to match an oral rhythm. As educators, we do not allow students to gain an appreciation for this writing because of the refusal to acknowledge the musical forms it tries to create. Well, it's been reduced to uh to a grammatical science and the guts have been ripped out of it in lots of the ways we teach poetry. Uh, to actually spend time with, uh, with someone like Frost and realize how he took uh, natural human speech rhythms and, put, and instilled them into poetry. Or to look at somebody like Whitman who just about, who turned the long sentence into a poetry form uh, is a really cool, it's a really beautiful thing for young people to see and understand that even their natural speech in itself has uh, a lyric sense to it.